OK, so I won't spend a lot of time on the transforms, but I do want to point out that these transforms are now a little bit more complex, a little bit more um, uh, structured than the ones we've seen in the past. Um, uh, and in this case, the transform has an outer loop, and that outer loop is relatively familiar. But embedded inside that outer loop are two inner loops. You can see that there's a, an XSL if, if there's a C term ref ID, and another one if there's a C also term ref ID. And those inner loops run only when, the, um, only when there exists either a C term ref ID or a C also term ref ID. So um, the fact that there's an if there, that should ring some bells in your head. Anytime I have an if statement that means something about my schema, it means that those elements are optional. They don't always have to be there. Because if they always had to be there, I wouldn't need the if. Right? I wouldn't have to test that they're there if I know that they're already going to be there. So another couple of um, interesting significance about, this, um, about the, uh, the schema. Now I'm using, uh, instead of using text links, I'm using image links. So I can compress the view of the, of the index down and, and get more into a smaller space. And now I have the title not as the link text, but I have the title sitting in, a, uh, in the title attribute. Another thing to point out here, and it's only if you're in the, in the more technical, do you even have to know that this exists. I'm using in this XPath the word ancestor, colon, colon. That's something called um, uh, an axis inside of XPath. Not something we've talked about, not something that I'll really cover. But if you're interested in, in going further um, with, the, uh, with XPath, you can look up the word axis. You can axis, A-X-I-S. You can Google that. And um, you'll see that this ancestor access takes us to any ancestor node of the current node. And excuse me, any ancestor node that's called section that has a title that's also an ancestor of the current node. OK, so that's a little, a little piece of interest here. We have our graphic links instead of our text links. If we open up, the, um, if we open up some of the, uh, those ifs, you'll see that they both work pretty much the same way. In fact, if I wanted to, I could compress these two into one. Um, and I don't want to right now because I want to have things very explicit for you. But if I was doing this for real, I probably would have created one block of code that does both of these, um, uh, that does both of the if blocks. Because they're so similar that it's, it's, it's really much better to implement them as a single block of code than, than, than two blocks of code. And they also put in, uh, they put in internal links. They put in links to another part of the index, not to one of the sections. So there's two kinds of links going on here. One is a link to the section that's being indexed. The other two kinds, the other two links are of the other variety of the other type. And those are links internal to the index. OK, so now looking at the, uh, the way the output is structured, you can see that we have an index that's uh, similar to uh, the, the look and feel of a book index. Each one of the little arrows is a mouse over. Uh, when you put your mouse over any of those arrows, you see the section that you're, the section that the, that, that, that index element, excuse me, that that index term is indexing. But if you click the link, you go to the place in that section where the index is actually linked to. 